Okay, Council, it's approved. <coughs> Please stand. Uh, welcome, councillors, members of the, of the executive and uh, the public uh, who are join us, joining us to be at live stream. Swan Hill Rural City Council acknowledges the traditional custodians of the land on which we meet and pays its respects to their elders, past and present. Councillor McCann, the prayer for us. We beseech you, Lord, that we may be granted wisdom, understanding and sincerity of purpose in the decisions we are called on to make for the welfare of the people of the rural city of Swan Hill. Be seated, please, Councillors. Mr. McClendon, we don't have any apologies. No apologies, Mr. Mayor. Uh, declarations of conflict of interest, are there any? There are none. We will move on to section B reports, consideration of submissions to proposed 2020 2021 budget. Mr. Lennon, please. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, this is the second report. The first report was last special council meeting, uh, previous Tuesday. At that meeting, we received and heard the six uh, submissions that we received in relation to the proposed 2020 budget, and one person uh, elected to speak to their submission. Uh, this is the next step in the process, which is uh, to consider the issues raised in the submission. The report that accompanies the agenda uh, includes uh, that response from the officers, uh, and uh, it's a summarised response, obviously, uh, in an effort to, to uh, outline what is, and was in it, what is and isn't in the budget, and uh, any other issues that we've uh, seen pertinent from the submission at the end of our response. Um, the, uh, I don't propose to obviously read all of the responses. We do believe, however, that the information contained in the report does answer the, the queries, but having uh, had answered those questions, most of them are just questions, we also believe that there is uh, no need to amend the proposed budget. The budget is a, a flexible document and has, uh, as, well, as likely as the report, uh, the budget itself indicates, is likely to need amendment anyway if COVID situation continues. Uh, so the recommendation, uh, Mr Mayor, is that Council consider the issues raised in the submission and the officer's response, and then having considered those submissions, not make any changes to the proposed 2020-21 budget, and write to each submitter thanking them for their submission and outlining Council's response. Thank you, Mr Lennon. Any questions, Councillors? Yes, Councillor McLeod. Yeah, Mr Lennon, just in relation to the um, meeting we had last week in relate with um, Mr Miller, Andy Miller actually spoke to council about the um, budget. He was talking about a community group that's been established in relation to the airport um, users and with the community group involved. We currently have a master plan. Are they able to be used, are they able to be identified and consulted with any future upgrades to that master plan? Uh, Mr Mayor, the intention is that key stakeholders will be consulted as part of the development of the aerodrome. Um, I I'm not 100% sure where that is, is up to. However, any stakeholder may have clearly identified themselves as a key stakeholder, so I would imagine that they certainly can be uh, included in the, in the consultation process. It's not intended, however, that the consultation be broad and that everybody be invited. Uh, it would be the, the consultation would be focused on key stakeholders and they have identified themselves as one of those. Uh, Mr. CEO might want to add. Well, I may add, Mr. Mayor. Uh, we do have a master plan of prison. It was developed in 2010. Um, is becoming a little dated now. We do have funds within this budget to do maintenance and upgrade works of the existing airport infrastructure, and that is the focus of the works within this budget, strengthening the runway, um, taxiways, providing jet A1 fuel and the like. Uh, we have consulted with airport users and will continue to do that, and then we'll go out to a broader um, consultation for those affected by the aerodrome. And then at a later stage, uh, we will look to do a much broader, uh, all-encompassing airport master plan, given the age of the, the one at present. But the planning we're doing at present is really a little bit of micro-planning to just get the best use of the funds we have to keep this facility operating. Thank you. Yeah. And just <coughs> one last question. And the, the recommendations you put forward, Mr. Lennon, about right to each submitter, thanking the, and outlining the council's response, so they, each individual submitter will get their response to their particular issue that they raised. Uh, Mr. Mayor, that's correct. Uh, we will, we will um, you should send them a copy of the minutes of this meeting and, and send them an individual letter um, that identifies their, their query. Thank you. Thank you. Any further questions, councillors? Yes? I'll move, move the motion as per the recommendation, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Do I have a seconder? Councillor McKay? <coughs> okay. Do you wish to speak to the motion? Yeah, thanks, Mr. Mayor. 
Look, um, we did receive a couple of submissions from the community. As Mr. Layton initially said, they are were more so questions, not any substantive relation to our change of budget as such, and accordingly we're prepared to adopt our budget now. But we ha have had this formal group that's been established as a result of the aerodrome issues that have been out there of recent times. And I think it's important that into the future that we do look at using them when we do update our master plan to ensure that they have some input into any future master plans, which I'm sure will happen. But um, I'd like to thank the officers for the time and the effort they put into this budget. I think it's a very good budget. I think it's very fair right across our municipality. And as always, we're trying to keep the rates as low as possible. And so just thank you to your staff, Mr. Newton, and all the staff for involving here in this budget. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Councillor Cody, would you like to speak? Any further speakers? For the motion, against the motion? No? Okay, we'll go to a vote. All those in favour of the motion? Yes, in favour. Passed unanimously. Thank you. Right. Yeah, there being no further business, uh, we'll close the meeting at 1.06pm. I ask councillors to remain seated and silent until we cease transmission.